She has been a one young world councillor since 2014 and a lifelong advocate for the rights of women and girls. He is the founder of the Invictus Games and Travelist and one of the world's leading advocates for mental health. Together, they are the founders of Archwell. Please welcome Meghan and Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. This is Dee, and today I'm going to share my thoughts on the Duchess of Sussex, a.k.a. Prince Harry's wife, a.k.a. Ms. Markle, if you're nasty. For the last couple of weeks, Megan's name has been in everybody's mouth, especially the haters. Um, from her new podcast, Archetypes, to her interview with a magazine called The Cut, to um, a speech for One World that she gave yesterday as the keynote speaker. This woman has been winning despite constant unfair criticism of everything she does. And yeah, today I'm gonna talk about it. But before I get into it, you guys, Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notifications. YouTube has been tripping with these notifications, so it's important that you turn them on so you are aware whenever I upload a great a new video just like this one. Let's get into it. For the last couple of weeks, uh, Megan has been giving them hell, baby. She Megan has stepped out and branched out on her own and the... British press cannot stand it. The biggest knock on Megan is that she is a narcissist because she doesn't play by the rules that were unfair to her. You know, this is an intelligent, poised, sophisticated woman. It is very nice to be back in the UK. And... It is very nice to be back with all of you at One Young World. As you'll likely hear many times this week, look, as we just heard, you'll hear all sorts of things, some very heavy, some very uplifting, but the resounding spirit I believe you'll hear is that you are the future. But I would like to add to that, that you are also the present. They cannot stand her audaciousness. They cannot stand her confidence. They want Megan to be what is comfortable for them. They want to shrink her, and she won't allow it. She also has a man, a prince, who loves her, who stands by her, who left his country because his wife was being abused. During her first podcast with uh, Serena Williams, they discuss ambitious women, people who want to achieve and the negative labels that come with that, particularly for black women. Both Megan and Serena were subjected to a lot of negative stereotypes. There was an article that said Harry's girlfriend was straight out of Compton. Now, do you think the British media meant that as a compliment? Of course not. They wanted to disparage her and down her and let her know that she, she would never be on the level of Catherine, Kate Middleton, from the jump. And then they have the audacity to say that she's exaggerating about racism or it didn't happen at all. Megan then did a second episode of Archetypes where she had uh, Mariah Carey as her guest. And the topic of that podcast was being uh, mixed race women. Now, there's been a lot of discussion, uh, particularly in the black community, about uh, colorism. And I have to say, I, I give Megan full credit for being as transparent as she was. You know, she says that there is a difference between being light, a light-skinned black woman, 
because you're not necessarily treated as a black woman. You are not subjected to the harsh stereotypes of black women. But of course, you're not treated as a white woman. And it wasn't until she married Harry that she was treated like a black woman, meaning the discrimination, the stereotypes, the disrespect. All of that is rooted in racism. Because, I mean, let's face it, this woman is biracial. She's equal parts black and white. But nobody ever acknowledges the white part, right? The black woman in her is the reason she and Harry left the UK. The media also made a big deal out of Mariah Carey calling her a diva. And of the fact that Meghan took exception to that because she doesn't consider herself one. The media took Mariah's diva comment and ran with it. Um, that was their opportunity. They felt vindicated. They was like, see, 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 we told you. The media put a negative spin on Mariah's comment. But Mariah actually tweeted that, yeah, I called her a diva in the most fabulous, gorgeous, and empowering meeting of the world. Megan then did a very much, a, I'm say tell-all interview with um, a magazine called The Cut. And of course, they were tripping on that. She talked about finding love and happiness because her marriage to him uh, certainly was not a fairy tale in the UK with how she was treated. But she talked about moving to the U.S., to California, so they could find happiness. And that's, the, that's one of the great issues, right? The British media do not want this woman and this man to be happy. And of course, the biggest controversy of all from that interview with The Cut was when she uh, shared a story about a South African telling her that they rejoiced in the streets the same way they did when Mandela was freed from prison. Now, no one is perfect. Meghan Markle is not perfect. And in my opinion, this comment was a misstep, definitely. I mean, you cannot compare overcoming 60 years of apartheid and a man being in prison for 27 years it is not the same as marrying a white prince. And if in fact, this is something that was said to her, someone in fact made this comment to her, I don't believe that this is something she should have shared. I believe this was a mistake on Megan's part. It's difficult being in the public eye like this where every move you make, every word you utter is examined and cross-examined and criticized. But ultimately, that's the problem. Everything is criticized. You know, when everything is a problem, nothing is a problem. There is no fairness. There is no balance. There is no objectivity. Everything this woman does is criticized. The British media slammed her Archetypes podcast. But guess what? It is now the number one podcast on Spotify, knocking Joe Rogan out of the top spot. Where is the, the credit for that? Where are the kudos? Because that's a big deal. But there's never any acknowledgement of anything positive she does. Her one world speech was wonderful and it really showcased what a great speaker she is, her presence. I am thrilled that my husband is able to join me here this time. <laughs> to be able to see and witness firsthand my respect for this organization, this incredible organization, and all that it provides as well as accomplishes. But Again, that was slammed as her being narcissistic. They couldn't care less about the message because they were so concerned with criticizing the messenger. 
I applaud Prince Harry for supporting his wife always. We should be so lucky because given his status and his family and this this was not this was not easy. The media talk about his strange relationship with Prince Charles. He actually talks about um, the fact that he and Charles are not speaking. And of course, he and his brother, Prince William, are not on good terms. It's unfortunate. It's sad. <clears throat> and while I do not believe William and Kate are racist, or that necessarily the royal family are racist in general, there are a lot of people who surround them members of what they call the firm who are. I also admit that there are two sides to the story um, in the relationships between Prince William and his father. However, the way that Meghan was treated by the media and not supported by the royal family is indisputable. That is something that continues to play out to this day. Look how they did Princess Diana. Diana was an aristocrat. She was actually not a member of the royal family until she married, but she was actually, quote unquote, one of them. And look how they did her. Because of Diana, we now know what goes on behind the scenes, behind closed doors and that the royal family is not above being cruel and vicious and out to get someone. They are not above creating a narrative that supports the institution rather than the individual. I applaud Meghan Markle and I hope she keeps on keeping on. I support Meghan and Harry fully. Um, the British public does not support them anymore in terms of funding, like they support the rest of the uh, royal family that comes out of tax dollars. They are supporting themselves. They are making their own money. And shame on the British media for their consistent and persistent unfair treatment, for their flat out racism, and for denying what we all know to be true, what we see every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment below because I look forward to reading what you guys think about um, this whole situation. And please do not forget to follow me on Instagram, the links to my Instagram pages, as well as my second channel, the Come Up Straight Up will be in the description box below. So. Till next time. Mwah.